Good morning, everyone. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're getting some good practice in this week. Here's my newest book that I'm reading, uh, but I haven't started reading it yet. It just came in uh, yesterday. I finished my other book and really enjoyed it, so I'm looking forward to this. What are you guys reading? Leave a comment. So I'm trying to work on reading music even better, so I'm starting to write music every day. This is what I wrote this morning, and I'm going to play some of this give you an idea of what it would sound like. I'm trying to work on the contours. If you notice, the triads look a certain way, and then when you come out of them, it looks a certain way. There's a waviness to this, almost like a wave or stair steps. So keep that in mind when you're starting to look at music. I highly recommend you guys start trying to read music because this is a language that can open up so many new possibilities. Okay, the way this is going to work is you're going to do triad, one, three, five. Then you're going to go four, three, two, one, five. Then the next one. Now I'm going to move right here to the D string. Then we can go backwards. Oh. Now, if you want to make it more challenging, let's try to stay in one position and do this. That's a little trickier, and that way you, you continually make it more difficult on yourself when you put those limitations in there. You know what I mean? Uh, you try it with finger one on the C. So that gives you an idea. But yeah, I'm trying to come up with more of these triad melodies. I'll probably start trying to do some things that are, uh, you know, extending the octave and stuff like that. But I wanted to share that with you guys. So make sure you're following and uh, like and subscribe. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye.